Hey guys, iOS 12.1 Beta 2 has been released today, and finally there are some exciting features to cover. It's starting to feel more like an actual 0.1 release. So it's actually a pretty decent sized update coming from iOS 12, 2.76 gigabytes, updating to developer beta 2. So before I had 17.89 gigabytes after, just took a little bit to install it, but definitely worth it. So I'm gonna cover 10 changes with you. So the first one and probably the biggest is 70 plus new emojis. So Apple has finally added Unicode 11 to iOS 12, and it actually has a lot of great ones. So my personal favorite has got to be the little peacock over here. There's now a toilet paper roll. There's a honey badger. There's a raccoon, a swan, a parrot, lots and lots of great ones. So do consider even if you update to iOS 12.1 and you send these to someone else, they will not see them. There will be an X out, just unavailable emoji, but really cool. There's a Jolly Roger, DNA Strand, an amoeba, like lots of cool ones. So Unicode 11 is finally here. And not only that, but I've actually noticed some changes to existing emojis. Okay, for example, take this shell right here. Previously, it was behind the slug as there was a relevance in terms of the shells. Now Apple has moved that to the end of the list over here by the mushrooms. So they've reorganized several emojis just so they have a more logical place. And I've actually noticed that they've edited some emojis as well. So take this carry out box, Chinese, for example, it used to have the chopsticks inside of it. Now it no longer does. It's a larger version of just the carry out box and the chopsticks are separate. And check this out. The previous iPhone emoji is now an updated iPhone 10 design emoji. So as you can see, it goes all the way down instead of having a home button and a top section. So really neat attention to detail. And most recently, the charge gate issue has been fixed. So when your screen was off and you set it to charge, your phone wouldn't charge right away. Now that uh, has been remedied and your iPhone will charge the 10s models upon plugging into a charger. Okay, and check this out. Kind of strange, but I like it. There is now a sound when you toggle one of the 3D touch toggles on either the iPhone 10 or 10s lock screen. So listen to this. I'm gonna bring it up closer to the mic here. So toggle. It basically sounds like a very muted mouse click from an old mouse or something. And uh, it's on both, both the camera as well. And you can keep like glitching it right there. Huh. Kind of interesting. So there's now a sound on those and kind of satisfying, I guess. And behind the covers, iOS 12.1 does actually enable the eSIM functionality, something Apple said would be coming in a future version of iOS. It's going to be iOS 12.1. And actually going down here, there's separate uh, slots for physical SIM and digital SIM. This has actually been renamed from the previous primary SIM and second SIM. So it's now called physical and digital SIM. There's also a new watch face. So if you go into the watch application, go all the way right to color. This this is a new one and you can select up to 52 new colors. So it's just a solid uh, color face and you can change a couple things in here. So kind of cool. And also one of the biggest things in iOS 12.1 that I didn't cover last time is the ability to change the actual depth on the fly. So you now have a new control up here, this little aperture symbol. And without having to take the picture, you can change it right away. And I'm not getting an accurate reading here. Okay, there we go. Whoa, kind of blurry, but okay. So you can adjust that on the fly. Really, really cool. And wow, it's having some issues with my little spiral over there. Huh, that is some serious uh, glitch going on. But hey, it's still in beta, so might be better in uh, the final version. It'd be very neat if Apple added a control like this for actually managing like the resolution and frame rate, that would be something. But hey, this is a step in that direction. I'd also like to point out that the crash in Safari still works. As you can see, you can uh, continually crash iPhones on it, which is interesting. I'm surprised that Apple hasn't fixed it just yet. And here is the bypass. So I'm happy to report that the bypass message has been Master. fixed now in uh -huh. iOS 12.1 beta 2. Is editing. So we're gonna go tab. to this part right here. I'm gonna send another message. And as soon as it arrives, usually when you'd click uh, on the plus, the screen would go white and that no longer happens. So looks like the bypass has been patched by Face Apple. Time. And in iOS 12.1, there is reference to the air power charging mat. Apple actually took this off their website. So a lot of people are wondering 
what the heck is going on, where is air power, but it's still being continually worked on in iOS 12.1 as they've actually updated several uh, sections pertaining to the charging sequence. And uh, yeah, so Apple is still working on that. 12.1 does show that. Okay, so last time I didn't run a Geekbench, I'd like to do that now, see if there's any definitive change in actual performance. So to run that versus iOS 12. And I'm sure that the Geekbench numbers will keep rising on the iPhone XS series as uh, it continually gets updated. Oh, hey, and look at that. The scores are already improving. So previously, 11,368 and now a little bit more for multi pretty much the same single core score so consistent i haven't noticed any difference in performance anything like that i mean these are top of the line phones it's gonna be very hard to tell just little differences in performance but hey i'd say do update if you want to experience the beta program again it's gonna be a while until we see iOS 13 so might as well catch some excitement where you can anyways a good amount of changes actually feeling like a substantial upgrade now and that's iOS 12.1 beta 2 so i will be announcing the giveaway winner here shortly. Stay tuned for that and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace.